One of the things of being on camera like this is it um, worries my vanity. Now, do, does my grey hair show enough? Because I hate the thought it looks dyed. And then I look at all my chins and I think, oh, I've got more chins than a Chinese telephone directory. Are we allowed to say that anymore? I'm not sure that we can, can we? Oh, I had six hits from China today. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think actually they were all crawler bots, but nonetheless, that was that was exciting. And I've been practicing my Mandarin. And I've been trying to learn to say thank you. And it's something like, xia, xia. Except the little boy that's teaching me just is clearly not right, but he's too polite to say, Sarah, that's rubbish. But I can't hear the difference. I really can't. Right, let's try number one, shall we? I'll put that little sign up there. So we've got nine and five sevenths plus one and two sixths. Um, well, let's add up the big bits first, shall we? Nine and one makes ten, plus five sevenths, plus two sixths. Now I'm going to turn my two sixths into a third because two goes into that once, two goes into that three times. Here we are. If I do a little one here, there's my sixths. And if I have two of them, you can see that's a third, and then that would be another third, and that would be another third. Ooh, so what number does seven and three go into? So it's 10 plus, we'll make it out of 21, because they'll both go into 21, won't they? So if I multiply the bottom by three, I multiply the top by three, which is 15. I multiply the bottom by seven, so I multiply the top by seven. So that's 10 plus 15 and seven is 22. 21, now 21 bits, <laughs> accuracy is sensible, makes a whole pizza. So that means I've got 10 whole pizzas, plus another whole pizza, plus there'll be one left over. There we are, there's a one left over. So that's 10 and one makes 11 and one 21th, for want of a better term. Does that sound right to you? Um, so let's have a, ooh, ooh. That's a bit horrible, isn't it? Let's try number two. So we've got five and three eighths plus seven and two thirds. First thing I'm going to do is reduce. No, I can't reduce that down, can we? It's all the same stuff. So let's add up our whole pizzas. We've got five whole pizzas plus seven whole pizzas. So that's 12 whole pizzas. Plus, and sometimes on multiple choice, plus uh, a bit and a bit. So it's going to be almost 13 whole pizzas. Actually, it might be a bit more than that, actually, might not it? Because oh, two thirds is more than a half, yes. So, uh, what number will these both go into? 24? Might sound all right to you. It'll do for me. Sometimes there's a smaller one they'll both go into. But I can't think of one at the moment. So we multiply that by three. We multiply that by three. So it's nine. Uh, 24s, multiply that by 8, multiply that by 8. Put in the sign in case we forget. 9, I think something's gone badly wrong, haven't I? Oh yes it has, doesn't it look? Because And the reason, what, what alerted me to that, that's more than half. But 8 24ths is less than half, isn't it? So I'd obviously gone wrong somewhere. Multiply that by 8, multiply that by 8, 2 pints, 2 pints, 2 times 8 is 16. So now we've got 12 plus 9 and 16 is 25. 25 twenty fourths. So exactly as we had last time, these 24 bits, let's draw them for you, will make a whole pizza, but we've got this extra little one left over. So that's 12 and the one makes 13, and then that gives us our one 24th left over happy so far? Right, let's have a, let's go on to the next one. Ah, oh, that's rather mellow. Should we change to a, a gentle grey? So number three. Let's have a look. We've got four and seven eighths minus two quarters. First thing I'm going to do is change that to a half. Here's my piece of toast, two quarters, make a half, don't they? So should we just rub that out? I mean, if we just on the interest of time, really. So that's a half. Now this 
this is a bit easier, isn't it? This one you can sort of visualise. Here's our eighths. Now, you'd be daft to draw it like this in an exam, but sometimes it's a good idea. So, and there's, if I just get rid of our... Uh, so there we are, seven eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take away a half. So that's all of this lot, isn't it? Ooh. Ah, magic. So take away half leaves us three eighths. Should we do that maths wise? Um, we're going to cut up all, I don't think we need to actually, we're just going to put these fractions, we're going to leave those pizzas whole. It's nuts to go cutting them all up because it gets cold, doesn't it? So seven eighths, take away, and now a half is four eighths, isn't it? We saw that there, it was four eighths. Multiply the bottom by four to get eight, sorry. Multiply the top by four to get four. So we've got seven eighths, take away four eighths equals three eighths. So it's four and three eighths. Now, what would have happened over here if I just relied on the picture? I'd have gone for three eighths and I'd have completely forgotten about these four over here, which would have been none <laughs> too good. Now, let's have a... Are we on to number four now? Off we go. So nine and four fifths take away four and four sevenths. Now four fifths is bigger than four sevenths. So this is fairly okay. The numbers look a bit scary, but this is at least smaller than that. How do we know? Because this is, here's our pizza. It's divided into five and we've had one, two, three, four. This one is divided into seven and then one, two, three. So, and we've had one, two, three, four. So those are smaller, aren't they? So nine, and let's put these out of the same denominator. Demons come from down below. Uh, what number do five and seven go into? 35, well done. Put in the sign, because you know I'll leave it out. Multiply that by seven, multiply the denominator by seven. So we multiply the numerator by seven. Four times seven is 28. Now we multiply the bottom, the denominator by five, we multiply the numerator by five, four times five. Is that still 28? What have I done wrong? I've done something wrong. I'm sure, I've, I'm sure this shouldn't be right. Let's have a look. Multiply the bottom by seven, multiply the top by seven, multiply the bottom by five, multiply the top by five. Oh, I'm such a jelly bean. 20 isn't it? 4 times 5 is 20. That makes it a bit easier. So we've now got 9 whole pizzas and 28 30 fifths take away 20 30 fifths. If that sounds horrible think of it as Mars bars. 28 Mars bars take away 20 Mars bars equals 8 Mars bars. Now can you think of a number that goes into 8 and 35? Nope neither can I. That doesn't mean to say we're right there. Um, ooh. What colour do you fancy to write on it? I think we'll go for this sort of turquoisey, aquary green. What number are we on to now? Number five. Ooh. I think we could go for, I'm going to go for white because I think that's a bit buzzy. I don't like that. Right, we've got six and a half plus one and two sixths. Now this is, this is a nice one, isn't it? Uh, six plus one is seven, plus a half, plus two sixths is a third. Do you remember? There's our one sixth, two sixths makes a third. But do you know what? We would have been better off sticking to sixths because a half, if I do the half there, is three sixths, isn't it? One, two, three. So I'm going to go seven plus, what did I say? Oh, it's three sixths make a half, doesn't it? One third makes this two sixths, which I was daft to sort out, but I did because I was feeling keen. Do you ever get those moments and you think, why did I bother? So it's seven and five sixths. Ta ra! Now let's go with the next one. Oh, should we change colours a bit? Do you fancy? Um, right, bear with me. 
Should we still write in white? That's all right, isn't it? Um, so this one, oh, uh, number six. We've got six and one sixth. Take away three and a half. Aha! Now this one is bigger than this. If I draw you a quick diagram, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a sixth pizzas. I come along and I eat one, two, three, because I'm generally quite piggy, hence all the chins, but I can't eat a half. I have to eat this bit, and then I have to eat a bit of this. So we're looking for two and a big bit. Multiple choice, that might be enough. So let's write down a two and a big bit. Right, six, take away three. No, we can't do that, can we? Because we need this, or do we? Yes, we're just gonna cut up all of these pizzas into sixths and all of these into halves. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We won't always do this. I just want you to understand how we get there. Um, oh, you have to stick your tongue out to concentrate. Mm, you stuck your tongue out? Come on. Oh, come on, no one's looking. Come on, come on. Good, that again. Mm, that's it, it helps you concentrate. So there's our, so we've divided it all up into six. So how many six have we got all together? We've got six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, plus this extra one makes 37, six. What we did maths wise, we went six times six is 36. So six times six is 36, plus one, there's the extra one, plus this one here, makes 37. Take away now, I'm gonna rub that out if you can bear with me. Take away one, two, three, and a half. Oh, we've got bottoms. So here's our three and a half. Um, so how many, have, I've made them all into halves, simple as that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven halves. What did we do maths wise? We went three times two is six, plus this extra one makes seven. So now we've cut up all our pizzas into halves and sixths respectively but we haven't we need to cut them into the same size now this time i'm going to cut we could go three six times two is twelve but we could just times this by three and get them all to be sixths and then the numbers are smaller the bigger the numbers the more my mind goes so multiply that by three to make six we multiply the numerator by three seven times three is twenty one so now we've got 37 take away 21. Let's just do it here. 6, 1 equals 16 sixths. Do you agree with that so far? But we know that 6 sixths make a whole pizza, don't they? So that will be 6 make 1. Ooh, 12 will make another. And then we haven't got enough. To, so that would be 4 left over. Yes, it would. So... I reckon that gives us two whole pizzas and then four sixths. But remember, we can reduce that down. So it's two and two thirds, which is two and a big bit. Does that sound right? Oh, thank goodness for that. Wouldn't that have been awful if we'd got it wrong? Sooner or later, we will get it wrong. But yeah, that's okay. We can cope with this. Um, and we're only halfway through. Nine and oh, I better put the number of the questions for those people that are scanning around. Number seven. Uh, nine and a third, take away one and one fifth. Ah, now one fifth is smaller than one third, isn't it? Here's our, that's what a third looks like. And then a fifth is smaller than that. So we know that that's smaller than that. So we can just cut this bit out of that bit and all will be well. So nine take away one is eight. Plus, we're thinking and here. I'm gonna put a bracket around it because I can feel a confusal coming on. A third take away a fifth. That means I've got to sort this out before I do anything else. I'm going to put those both over 15. 
uh, 15, 15, put in the sign, multiply the bottom by 5, multiply the top by 5, multiply the bottom by 3, multiply the top by 3. 5, take away 3, it's 2, 2 fifteenths, so it's 8 and 2 fifteenths. How are we doing? Right, oh, sorry, I had a sudden... Da -da -da. Should we try white for that? Oh, that doesn't show up, does it? Uh, brown? Leave that. Ooh, should we try brown? That's okay, isn't it? Number eight. So we've got three and an eighth. Take away one and three quarters. So let's just illustrate our problem again. I've got three and an eighth. Take away one and three quarters. So I have to take this and then a big chunk of that really, don't I? So we're looking for one and a bit. Uh, one and a bit. Always a good idea to have a rough idea of what's going on in your head. So we're going to cut up all of these pizzas into eighths and all of these ones into quarters. So three times eight is 24 plus one is 25. So that gives us 25 eighths. Do you want me to draw it out? There's our one, two, three and our eighth. So we cut that into eighths, we cut that one into eighths, cut that one into eighths and here's our eighth. Eight, 16, 24 plus the extra one makes 25 eighths. Take away, now we're going to do, cut these bits into quarters, uh, one and three quarters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that's seven quarters. Maths wise we don't, one times four is four, one times four is four, plus the extra three bits the extra three bits makes seven. So that's seven quarters. Let's get rid of this out of the way. Now, we've got to make them over the same denominator. Remember, demons come from down below. I'm gonna make it eight. We could go for 24, but that, the numbers get big then, don't they? So just double that. So it's 25 take away, divided by eight. So multiply that by two makes eight. Multiply that by two. 14. 25, take away 14. Now I'm sure we can do this in our heads, but remember in an exam you're going to be a little bit frazzled. So it's always a good idea to actually do written workings. So that equals 11 eighths. Eight of them will make a whole pizza, won't it? So that'll mean there'll be three left over. So that's um, one whole pizza. 8 goes into that once with 3 left over, 3 eighths left over, 1 and 3 eighths, which is indeed 8 and a bit. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? What Should we have a sort of a, a mellowy, yellowy thing to go with that one? We're on to 9, we're 3 quarters of our way through. So we've got 3 and 7 eighths, take away three and two thirds equals what? Now, this one, ooh, is two thirds smaller than seven eighths? I think it is. Let's have a quick look. That's seven eighths and two thirds, if I do another color, two thirds would go there, wouldn't it? Yeah, so our two, we don't need to nick anything, to nibble out of stuff. So three take away three, well that's easy, that leaves us nothing, doesn't it? So I don't even need to write down nothing, I don't think you can, nothing is nothing, isn't it? There's no point in writing nothing down. So that leaves us with seven, ooh, no. Seven, we can do better than that. So that gives us seven eighths, oh, that's rather nice, isn't it? Take away two thirds. What number will they both go into? 24, 24, 24. Well done. Multiply the bottom by three, multiply the top by three, multiply the bottom by eight, multiply the top by eight, and put in the sign, Sarah Bach. Um, right, 21 24 take away 16 24 Ooh, 21 Mars bars, 
take away 16 Mars bars. 11 take away is 5. So that's going to be 5 twenty-fourths. Is there anything that can divide top and bottom? Nope. Right. I rather like this colour. Should we try a sort of a gentle pink this time? Ooh, no, that reminds me of chocolate strawberry things. Do you like chocolate strawberry things? I think we'll just go for white. I think that might look nice. Uh, number 10. That's okay, isn't it? Seven and three quarters. Take away three and a half. Ah, this is a nice one, isn't it? Um, I'll just draw it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and three quarters. Take away three. One, two, three and a half. Equals four and a quarter. So I'm going to put four and a quarter down here. Sometimes it's just always have your common sense head on because it, it can help. Uh, seven, we know that that's smaller than that, so we don't need to do any fancy stuff. Uh, three from seven is four, so it's four, and I'm going to bracket this. Three quarters take away a half. It's just so that I know to get this sorted, otherwise I'll do stuff. Um, four plus, in case I forget that. Um, three quarters take away a half, going to make it out of quarters. So multiply, but we leave that the same, don't we? Multiply the bottom by two, multiply the top by two. That was our two. There we are. There's our three quarters. One, two, three. And here's our half, which is two quarters. Now we eat it up. Put in the sign. Oh, I get fed up with telling myself off about this. So it's four and three quarters. Take away two quarters is one quarter. So we've got two, four, and one quarter. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, should we go for a vibrant red? Um, eleven. It's hopefully nothing terrible is going to go wrong. We've got eight and two thirds. Take away two and four fifths. Four fifths, that's bigger, isn't it? That's bigger than two thirds. Let's have a quick look. Two thirds looks like that. Four fifths. Well, the, if you want to do fifths, you do it as like a star jump man, is that. Aha! So we're going to have to do some nibbling away at the other thing. So we, what we're going to do, we're going to cut all of this lot into thirds and all of this lot into fifths. And then we'll, we'll sort it so. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 2 is 26. So we've got 26 thirds. Take away, 2 times 5 is 10, and 4 is 14. Take away 14 fifths. You don't want me to draw that, do you? Oh, come on. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, these are all into thirds. You see? Beautiful drawing. I'm sure there was a fancy where I could do that. So um, here's our 8 times 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Plus our extra 2 thirds. 1, 2 makes 26 thirds. And then I've got to learn how to sort of capture and delete stuff, haven't I? And then this one, we had two whole pizzas cut into fifths. There are 5. 10 and then 4 fifths. Mm. So that was um, 5, 10 plus the extra 4 makes 14. It's easier to do it with numbers, isn't it? But I think it's important to have a conceptual idea of what's going on. Um, now, now we have to cut them up into the same size bits, otherwise we can't do it. What number can we put it in? Come on, give it a go. No one's listening. Oh, come on. Play the game, that's no fun. It's 15, isn't it? They both say you multiply the bottom by 5, you multiply the top by 5. Oh, whoopee-doo. 
um, you multiply the bottom by 3, you multiply the top by 3. We've got to do some working, haven't we? So 26 times 5, because you multiply that by 5, multiply that by 5. 6 times 5 is 30, 2 times 5 is 10, and 3 is 13. Does that sound about right? It does, doesn't it? 130 fifteenths. Now, you wouldn't bother rubbing out your workings, it's just we're a bit constrained by space. So 14 times 3, multiply the bottom by 3, so we have to multiply the top by 3. 4 times 3 is 12, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 is 4, so it's 42. That sounds about right, doesn't it? Take away, why didn't I put that, so why didn't you tell me? You could see I'd left the sign out, why didn't you tell me? You didn't, did you? You just looked at it, did you shout at the computer? No, you didn't. So we've now got 130 fifteenths, take away 40 fifteenths, so we'll get that done. Uh, naught from that can't do, two. 10 take away 2 is 8, 12 take away is 8, so that gives us 88 fifteenths. Write it down before we get confused. Now how many times will 15 go into that? 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, so it goes 7 times and 88 take away 75, surely it's 13, yeah, and 13 fifteenths. Fingers crossed. Oh, what have I done wrong? I've done something badly wrong here. Oh, yeah, look, I've written seven. It was five, wasn't it? Did you, did, did you tell me? You didn't, did you? Because how many times did 15 go into the 88? It went in five times, didn't it? 75. And then I wrote seven down. What a jelly brain. So it's five and thirteen fifteenths. Ugh. Never mind. There are bad things in the world. This isn't one of them. But we've almost finished. So we're on to number twelve. And we've got six and six eighths. Take away two and three quarters. Uh six eighths. Shall we just reduce that? 2 goes into that 3 times, 2 goes into that 4 times. Oh look, it's 3 quarters. Wasn't that nice? Um, and if we draw it, you can see it. There we are. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's our 6 eighths equals 3 quarters. So 6 and 3 quarters. We, could, we can draw this one, can't we? We'll give ourselves a treat. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, and three quarters. Take away two and three quarters. So there's our two and three quarters equals four. Because three quarters take away three quarters is nothing. Six take away two is four. I think we made it to the end fairly well there, didn't we? If you made it to the end, well done. Trust me, nobody else has. So go and put your Harry Potter outfit on and go and give your mum a snoggy kiss or the dog or the cat or somebody to celebrate the fact that you had the perseverance. Well done, everyone. Bye-bye. What do I mean, everyone? It was only you. Seriously, it was only you. Bye.